Hello folks, Joe Lang here from Team Meat in the Freezer. My beautiful wife, Jackney, right there. How you doing? I'm good. How what are you, you doing? I'm making egg rolls. She's making egg rolls. Here we are. Some of y'all, I know some of y'all have been at our functions, have asked. So here it is. So we got some Filipino egg rolls, or lumpia they're called. Basically it's a small egg roll. We're making them. We got our deer meat. It's 80% venison 20% pork fat that we ground ourselves and processed uh, there's no exact recipe on this you're gonna do lots of things to your particular taste and liking which comes with experience uh, when you make your mixture you can absolutely make up a couple egg rolls and go ahead and fry them up real quick it only takes a couple minutes and taste them see if it's to your liking if it's salty you know if it's spicy whatever you want you can test it, you know, with your amount of ingredients before you make a whole batch of them, okay? So we got about five pounds of meat here. I don't know what that's going to make. Probably it's going to yield about 100 to 150 egg rolls, I would say. And we're making some. My father's going to take some back to Virginia. We're down here in Georgia. So here's what I'm going to have. What's going to happen? I'm going to go over the ingredients, and she's going to show you how to roll them up and what kind of wrappers to get and all that stuff. Uh, most supermarkets and stuff aren't going to have these type of wrappers. You're going to have to probably go to an Asian food store or a Filipino type store or Asian market or something like that. So if you don't have one nearby, if you live in a rural area like me, you just might have to go to the nearest city or something like that. So anyway, come along with us. We're making venison egg rolls. By the way, venison is also known as deer meat in the south. So anyway, we're making venison egg rolls. And I'm going to go over the ingredients right now. So stand by. Here we are. This isn't Hollywood. I'm just going straight to the ingredients. All right. So, as you can... All right, everybody. So, in this particular evening, <clears throat> ingredient number one. <clears throat> we have some <clears throat> sea salt. <clears throat> All it is a little salt grinder. We have some sea salt here, McCormick sea salt. We have some fresh ground black pepper. In my opinion, it tastes better. We have some nose down seasoning from Nose Down Scents. This is called the sizzle. It says pork or chicken or basically anything else. It's for wild game season. It's very good. We've been using a lot of stuff right now. I've come to like it quite a bit. You can see the bottle's almost gone. We have some dried jalapenos. You can also use fresh jalapenos if you like, <clears throat> but I would urge you to cut them up rather small. These dried jalapenos, just be a little careful with them if you don't like some zip on them because if you can overdo it real easy. <clears throat> we have a little bit of nor. This is simply some chicken <clears throat> stock or chicken bouillon. You know, it comes in cubes and stuff also, but this is just... For this application, this is better because you can use it in, you know, more distinct quantities and you don't get any big chunks of it in your meat. And then we have a rather large jar or jug of soy sauce. This one is Silver Swan brand. I'm not sure the brand matters a whole lot. And this would be one of the spring roll pastry wrappers. This particular bag is... 30 pieces or 30 sheets it says this bag right here you're going to cut them in a half corner to corner like triangular and so this will make 60 egg rolls per package and these will be frozen these will be in the freezer section of your asian food store so here you can see our mixture and this particular day we took we have the ground venison here we have fresh carrots, we have fresh onions, fresh celery, a little bit of soy sauce, a couple tablespoons of the nor uh, chicken stock in there for flavor. We have the nose down sizzle or game on and sizzle seasoning actually. I put a little bit of both my game on seasoning ran out actually. And then we have <coughs> some of the dried jalapenos. 
So without further ado, I'm going to show you. Hello, Jakeney. Hi. Are show you ready? Yep. Yeah, let's see what you got here. Let's see what you're doing. I'm just going to put some um, beer meat and then I'm just trying to roll it. Just folds the corners in. Yeah, and then just like to make it, um, what do you call that? Nice and tight. You yeah, want to keep it airtight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to seal it of this one. You dab your finger in the bowl and get a little bit of that. Yeah. You make a paste that's just flour and water, guys. Mm -hmm. You get it up to a nice to thick consistency it. and show them the finished product over there. Awesome. Stack it on the stack. This one right here. So that's what you end up with, okay? Which these are all going to be frozen when they're done. Anything that you're not going to cook immediately. And they keep very well in the freezer. So let's go over it again. You okay. put you some of your mixture on there. Mm -hmm. Which she did the fresh ingredients with a food processor this time. And then you roll it, and it gets rather quick when you get familiar with it. Now she's going to dab into the paste, a little on the corner, and there you go. Now let's go through one more. Let's coach them through it. And do the corners nice and slow so the viewers can see. So she's going to grab about a tablespoon of the mixture. Put it right there, closer to the flat edge. Notice the point of the triangle of the egg roll wrapper is pointed away from her. Now she's going to fold the corners fold the in, corner. one over the other. And she's going to grab the back end and right now, she, right now, see what she's doing with her fingers? She's actually pushing the air out of it. She's getting it like an airtight seal. She's rolling the wrapper. She's going to stop short, get a dab of the paste, and put it on there, and there you go. how many of those have you made in your life? Lots. Lots, huh? All right. So let's watch her one more time. Get a spoon of your mixture. Mm -hmm. Like I said, nothing in this mixture is cooked right now. It's all fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. Nothing has been cooked at this point. Roll it. Roll it. Yeah. Now to the paste, a little bit of paste. Roll it up, and there you go. We normally, in a gallon Ziploc bag, I'm going to continue filming Jakeney while she makes a couple of these for y'all, <clears throat> just so y'all can see it again. Normally, you can get, we put about 50 pieces in a one-gallon zip, one gallon Ziploc bag is about how they store, if you lay them in there along two rows deep, you know, along the bottom, and we put them in the freezer. So, she's going to roll it over, put the paste... Now when you cook these, we're going to do a sample here in a minute, I'm sure. What you do is you can either deep fry them, which is amazing, and it also goes good with a, uh, if you're doing a fish fry or something, you already got some hot oil. But what you can do is you can also just take them, even frozen, and put them in, put about a quarter inch of oil in your favorite skillet, and put them in there and just fry them and, and roll them over until they're golden brown. And they're really good to eat. I mean, I love putting a little bit of salt on them, and you can dip them in a, what's that, sweet chili sauce? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's sweet egg chili sauce, sauce or egg roll sauce you can ask for at the Asian market. It's similar, kind of like a sweet and sour you sauce. You can buy also in the Kroger or uh, Walmart. Oh, yeah, you can actually get the sauce. That's correct. Kroger and Walmart in this mm -hmm. area carries it. If you go to the, uh, like, ethnic food section of the grocery store, you can find the egg roll Taste sauce there. egg roll sauce. It'll actually say egg roll sauce on it. And it's pretty good. And like I said, you can also... I'm a big fan of the spicy ranch, like the Chipotle ranch dressing. I'll dip it in that quite often. And these are great for parties. They're, you can pre-make them. They're also good for deer camp. Thank Bring them to you. camp and just drop them in some grease. It's a ready-made meal. I mean, literally... So just to reiterate, as you're watching her roll some egg rolls, you can... You know, you can put as much vegetables or as little vegetables as you like in here. You don't have to. If you don't like onions, don't put onions. If you don't like jalapenos, don't put jalapenos. I've got a buddy at work. He puts uh, habanero peppers in them. He likes really hot stuff. So if that's what you like, by all means, go for that. Uh, a pretty common ingredient is fresh green beans. If you put it in a food processor, fresh 
not like the canned ones that would be mushy, but a nice fresh green beans or from your garden. Uh, we actually use asparagus beans sometimes. It's like an uh, Asian bean. It's pretty much like a fresh green bean, only longer. And that's a really good complement to these as well. But you can season it up any way you like. You can use your favorite rib rub in there if you want, or any of your favorite season. Some Lowry season, a little garlic salt. You know, season it to your taste and how you like it. You can get creative with it. So just so you know, we've also made these with pork, uh, all ground pork, uh, chicken. chicken, wild wild hogs we make it with. We've even made egg rolls with ducks and geese before, and they turn out great. Beef, yeah, although we don't eat a whole lot of beef, do we? <laughs> We're typically eating wild game. But anyway, this is what you got. I'll show you all what a couple finished product looks like because I'm getting hungry right now looking at them. And just keep in mind the ingredients cook down pretty soft inside of them. So if you do put like raw onions in there or whatever, when you cook them, they typically get nice and soft because I'm not a big fan of raw onion. I do like the flavor but not the texture. So anyway, this is Joe Lang. It's Team Meat in the Freezer. Jagney, say hi. So tell everybody, it's not that hard, is it? It's easy. It's easy, so get out there. Everybody can make this one. You can make it, you can get your kids involved, which isn't a bad idea if you got them. It's like an uh, extra labor force, because this can be time consuming. So once again, there's the fresh ingredients. Soy sauce. In this particular case, we have a little chicken bouillon. Some nose down, sizzle, and game on season. We got the egg roll wrappers, some fresh sea salt, fresh ground pepper, and some dried jalapenos. So, keeping that in mind, say bye to everyone, Jakeney. Bye. See you in the field. See you. All right, we love you guys. Thanks for your support. We're going to show you what the golden brown looks like here in a minute. So, we appreciate it. If you all have any questions, leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe our channel, share our videos, and we'll be bringing you much more in the upcoming year. See you soon. All right, folks, here we are back at the stovetop, about to do a little test run, and I'm going to show you all what we mean and how easy this is, okay? So come along with me. Hold on while I turn the camera around. Don't need any fancy edits here. All I got here is a nonstick skillet. Got some good old-fashioned vegetable oil. I'm going to put just about enough to cover the bottom. Maybe just a tad bit more. You don't need a whole lot. We're going to cut the fire on. There we go. And get a nice little look on that. This is a gas stove as you can tell. We're going to get that hot. And I'm going to be back with you in just a minute. I'm going to let that heat up for a minute. Like I said, I've only got a quarter inch or less of oil in there. You don't need any more of that because I'm going to roll them around as they brown. And I'm going to be right back with you when we're putting the egg rolls in the grease. Stand by. Alright folks, here we are. We're back. The grease is hot. If anybody don't know how to tell, you take a little drop of water. See that? You hear that? We're good to go. That's my thermometer in the kitchen. Alright, do not put a large amount of water in there as it will pop and hit you in the face, possibly. Another thing to keep in mind is when the egg rolls are frozen, place them in slowly and they will bubble and splatter a little. So here I am, got a freshly wrapped egg roll. As you can see, it's not frozen or anything. I'm gonna lay it in the grease. Lay it in the grease. And lay it in the grease. You can't just taste test one, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let them start to cook. What I normally do when you first start them out, I normally move them just a little bit just to ensure they don't stick to the pan. If they do, what will happen is when you go to turn them, they will actually, if it sticks, it will rip a hole in the egg roll and it doesn't ruin it, but it just makes it a little harder to eat. It might make for a little bit more of a mess and you really don't want to get, I don't know, you don't want to just fill your egg roll up with oil or whatever. So I'm going to let these go and I'm going to turn them as needed. It ain't going to take long. See, it's already starting to round. Look at the difference in the two. It hasn't even been in there 30 seconds. So we're going to do like this. We're going to let them brown. We're going to turn them 
as they cook. Sorry, I'm videoing with one hand, kicking, cooking with the other, and this is not a GoPro. I actually got my big camera out. So we're going to do this. As you can see, they're already getting golden brown. Now what I do sometimes is I will roll them up against the other one or what have you if you need to get a certain side of them, you know what I mean? If one side's brown more than the other. I know I'm zooming in awful close, but I want you to see how brown that's getting. I'm not sure what the lighting's like in here, but anyway, you get the idea. So I'm moving around as you see fit. And I'm going to time them here, and I'm going to be back with you in a minute as I continue to brown these up. Alright, as you can see, nice and golden brown. And if anything, I might have even overcooked them a little bit. But, like I said, I'm, this is all designed to get the mixture right. So I got a paper plate, a couple paper towels on it. I like my egg rolls nice and crispy. Okay, I'm going to put them on there. Turn my fire off. Okay, fire's off. Sorry about the camera work, but like I said, I'm multitasking. And hold on one second. 